Doing Well by Doing Good, The Chronic Disease Medical Home. The U.S. healthcare system and its financing is organized around acute medical events. It was never designed to manage complex chronic illnesses, which account for enormous annual expenditures with huge savings opportunities. By designing a new model of medical home around the unmet needs of the chronically ill, we can improve the quality of patients' lives while making healthcare more affordable. The population of chronically ill patients goes well beyond the frail elderly. Most patients are between the ages of 51 and 70. Patients average three to four chronic diagnoses each, and almost half suffer from depression as a complication of their illnesses. 70% of the chronically ill have at least six long-term prescriptions, and a third have 10 or more. One in three patients regularly forget to take their medications, and over 35% cannot afford to fill their prescriptions. Half of the chronically ill are unable to hold a steady job. Fewer than 50% are able to drive themselves to appointments, and one in five has no family or regular caregiver. Regardless of their underlying diagnoses, Virtually all chronically ill patients share common challenges that arise from the overwhelming complexity of their care. Efforts to engage the chronically ill in disease management programs have largely failed because those programs were organized around the needs of providers, not patients. To patients, the program seemed complicated and failed to answer their fundamental question, what's in it for me? By managing the complexity, simplifying care processes, and addressing the unmet needs of chronically ill patients and their families, we will answer the what's in it for me question. The building blocks of a chronic disease medical home start with the foundation, an engaged patient and their associated caregivers, supported by a principal physician, most likely a primary care doctor dedicated to chronic disease management, and a care coordination team with 24-7 access to specialist physicians for real-time consultations. Pharmacy management and psychosocial support are integral components of the medical home. Resources are in place to meet the non-medical needs of the patient, such as transportation or nutrition. To the extent necessary and appropriate, care is provided in the patient's home. Palliative care resources are also incorporated into the medical home, with hospice and experienced end-of-life care teams readily available. A flexible structure capable of wrapping complementary resources around a variety of anchor medical practices will extend the reach and geographic feasibility of chronic disease medical homes. Anchor practices, whether primary care, specialty, or multi-specialty groups, would dedicate a subset of physicians as medical quarterbacks. While embedding care coordination, pharmacy management, psychosocial support, home care, and non-medical support services into the medical home. In areas with sufficient population density to create scale, chronic disease medical homes can be built for purpose, incorporating the full range of necessary services from the outset. The chronic disease medical quarterback is a new economic model. A traditional primary care practice averages 2,000 active patients per physician. Patients average just over one visit per year. In a typical week, each doctor sees 90 patients for an average of 20 minutes each and generates just under $500,000 in professional fee revenue per year. By contrast, in a chronic disease medical home, each physician quarterback might manage 300 patients who average over five visits per year. In a typical week, each doctor sees 30 patients for an average of 60 minutes each, generating roughly half of the professional fee revenue compared to their counterparts in traditional primary care practices. The current payment system was not designed around care for the chronically ill. New reimbursement approaches are necessary to allow physicians to focus their practices on this population cohort. The economic benefits of chronic disease medical homes is undeniable. For a medical home caring for 1,000 chronically ill patients, the incremental annual cost for care coordination, pharmacy management, psychosocial support, home care, non-medical logistics, and professional fee support for three physician quarterbacks would be approximately $2.6 million, or $2,600 per patient. Annual systemic savings arising from lower hospital use and more efficient episodes of care are conservatively estimated at $10,000 per patient, nearly four times the incremental cost for a medical home. 
The reason that chronic disease medical homes never evolved under the current payment system can be attributed to Darwinian economics. To date, we have failed to connect the potential savings with the necessary investments, and broad population shared savings schemes are not the best way to connect the land masses. An ACO for the chronically ill would focus attention more effectively. With a dash of innovation, we have the opportunity to do well by doing good. To improve the lives of patients suffering from advanced chronic illnesses while making healthcare more affordable. The Chronic Disease Medical Home. It's time for new ideas.